So I'm really excited with the OMOO de development program that we've got on the, on the books at the moment. We've actually talked about it for a long time, but we actually haven't delivered. So this is the first time an opportunity we've had to deliver a, what I think is a really exciting program. And I think it's an exciting program because while we can give people all the competencies and technical skills, there's elements to the job. These are senior leadership roles in the field that support both volunteers and career staff. Um, and that can be really complex. And this is the first time that we've actually got a program that will help them along their journey, which is well and beyond above just the competency component. And it's, it's drawing on the peer program. People have been doing it for a while. It's not just, hey, congratulations here, you got a job and away you go. This is about, hey, congratulations, you got a job and we're gonna help you grow into your job as well. Um, and I think that has benefits not only for the individuals, not only to the volunteers and uh, the career staff that these guys and girls support, but it, it essentially to, to the whole organisation. I, I just think it's such an important thing that we're doing and I'm so excited that we've finally got it off the ground after the period of time we've talked about it. So the feedback has wholeheartedly been, this has been a long time coming and we need to make sure that this can continue for um, the future of CFA until maybe it's a point that it's business as usual and we're continuing to extend our thinking on leadership. But I've only got to spend the shortest amount of time in, um, with uh, the group and it seemed to me to be incredibly positive for our organisation. So at this stage uh, we've got a group of really engaged people, we really need their feedback, we're looking to run it through to July and then we'll take it from there. There are some great stages coming uh, for that group. So important training such as media training which will be happening on the 14th of November um, and that is an essential skill for all of our leaders myself included so really hoping that participants get a lot out of that and we'll continue to develop and grow the program uh, in terms of a toolkit to be developed for um, all of our OOs that has been developed in the past but has been a bit ad hoc so we're looking at rolling out something that is ready there for our people when they step into the role. The organising program staff have looked at matching the mentors and the mentees together. So I found when I was uh, uh, connected with my mentee that there was some similar background, uh, some similar life experiences. But I suppose the, um, uh, the most notable thing was that we, we both had a similar set of values in terms of how we do our job. So it was really, really quite rewarding. Uh, I think we're both pretty optimistic about the, the program and how we work together. The, if I reflect back on my transition becoming a, an operations officer uh, about 13 years ago, I can see now how beneficial a program like this will be. And so, it's, yeah, it's, it's actually, yeah, I'm pretty optimistic that we can um, do some good stuff here. And the message from the deputy um, made a lot of sense in respect to moving into a new position where you have a lot of self-doubt um, that you may not be prepared for that position. Um, but until you commence your, your role, you can't really improve or um, fulfil that role until you are in it and that, that made a lot of sense but what this program helps uh, provide a bit of certainty as to some support and preparation to assist you in a new role um, and that link has been missing in the past. So it's given us the opportunity to bounce questions off each other which they have, other people have answers for um, or they've experienced that themselves um, at their brigade or within their catchment. So having that information readily available um, or even just being able to pick up the phone and contact the mentor and just ask him a question whether they have experienced it to be able to give you a bit of guidance on which way you're going to travel. I think the, the program gives us the opportunity to uh, broaden our networking and understanding of the various roles that our positions as operations officers undertake within the organisations and then share the challenges and experiences that we've had um, so that people can put them into their toolkit, so to speak and uh, use them to progress their way through their career and deal with what they have to do on a day-by-day -day basis. It's interesting um, for me, so I was uh, obviously a long-time volunteer, a long-time career firefighter, and I had my tickets as a, a truck driver and a breathing apparatus and, and you know the, the ladder platforms and, the, and things such as that. Um, at no stage really, unfortunately in our development, were we given leadership training. Yet when we kept promoted off station, What's my role? It's not so much driving trucks. I, no offence, I haven't driven a truck for years, but it is about 
how you lead an organisation or a community. It is a, a leadership role that we're required to play for a broad community base and we need to develop our, help develop our people to go on that journey. I, I think it's so exciting and to be honest, so important for the development, not just for the individuals, but for our volunteers, our career staff, our brigades, our organisation, and ultimately to the state and the community we serve.